My sister, Anne, lives in the north with her husband, San. For many years, since the wars against the Japanese and the French, Arne and San have worked in peace to irrigate the land to produce the precious corn and rice yield that is part of the wealth of our dear homeland. It is back-aching work, but it is a labour of love and joy, for they know that with every crop from this good earth, their children will be stronger and their future more secure. Every tomorrow has a meaning for them now. Poverty, malnutrition, illiteracy, these are things of yesterday. Arne and San would sacrifice anything to prevent the return of such a brutal past. Their memory of it is too vivid. How can I tell Arne about our father? In the South, we did not enjoy such an opportunity for the transformation of our land. We were faced with a great many difficulties. I said to myself, the factory is ours today, so we are working for ourselves. Vietnam. While North Vietnamese women must be rationed to five yards a year, the fruits of freedom are very real. And in South Vietnam, they help make a miracle come true. Farmlands are redistributed so that peasants own their land and reap the benefits of their toil. And year after year, starting with 1954, the rice harvest grows greater and greater. A determined, hard-working people prosper under freedom, while their neighbors to the north watch with growing envy and apprehension. Despite the repeated aggression, the South Vietnamese dig in and work harder. They double the nation's production of rice in seven years. Harvey Schmidt, our farm expert, checked out the condition of the wheat. of the ship were filled with wheat. Unloading from two of the holes was done mechanically. But in the third hole, unloading was done by manual labor, working in shifts 24 hours a day for three days. Every grain from the crane spill-off was saved. As they filled up, barges loaded with wheat moved up a tributary of the Saigon River to a flour mill in the city.
rice is the major food staple in Vietnam, but Vietnamese people are accustomed to eating wheat products too. The French introduced wheat a century ago, and Americans continued to use it during the war. from the Church World Service shipment was made into bread and noodles for distribution to hospitals. Here, schools are filled with children learning to read and write in a land where illiteracy has been a legacy from generation to generation. Education, cornerstone of freedom, has found enthusiastic support in the new country, and enrollment in elementary schools has tripled in the last six years. The project which we're looking at right now is a dam and a hydraulic ram project. Which will, we've dammed up the water here and it will be forced up through this ramping system so that crops can be raised the year round. So you, you provide all the money for this, but how important is it that they work on the thing themselves? Well, this is, this is critical so that they feel, begin to achieve some sort of emotional and uh, emotional involvement with the governmental system. Uh, and we feel that this makes a lot of difference, for example, in whether or not the Viet Cong would, would uh, try to destroy or Cảm ơn tất cả mọi người đã theo dõi. Hãy bấm vào nút đỏ để đăng ký kênh Câu Việt Nam và ấn vào chuông bên cạnh để cập nhật những video mới nhất. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại.